Hi everyone. This video is just going to be an introduction to how to make a choose your own adventure game in App Inventor. Um, it's not going to be a complete version, just sort of will demonstrate uh, some of the some of the ways you can control the flow of the program so that you can build out your own adventure game. Um, so the way this is set up to work is, let me just kind of show you what it does. So I'm going to click the start button. It says you awake in a dark forest. You have no memory of how you got there. You have nothing with the clothes on your back. You see a path with a fork leading to the left or to the right. Which path do you choose? So if you choose left, there's a cabin. There's a whole new set of choices for the cabin. And if you were to knock on the door, there would be a different outcome. And if you were to keep, click keep walking, there would be a different outcome. Let me just refresh. And I'll show you that from that starting point, if you choose, if you make a different choice, there's a different result. So this time I start, and in, when I reach the fork in the road, I go right, and instead I reach a river, at which point I could cross the river or turn back. So again, the whole point is that the choices matter. So how do you actually get the choices to matter? Well, first of all, um, there's the way it's set up is that you're keeping track of what the current scene is. So a scene is just going to consist, it's going to be um, a variable that just is used to tell the program what picture and what text and what buttons should be set to. So um, for example, at the very beginning, the screen is, the, the scene is set to start. Uh, when the screen initializes, it calls the update screen procedure. So this update screen procedure has all the code for looking at what is the current scene. If the current scene is start, set the picture for start, set the label for start, set the button for start, the, and then actually button two is is not visible. Button visibility is set to false. Remember, I only had one button at the beginning. You can actually see down here for other scenes, I set button to visibility to true because I want to have more buttons. So anyway, um, from that point, like let's say, you, so you clicked button one because that was the one that said start. What this code does is for whatever button you clicked, it checks to see what your current scene is because that way it knows what the next scene should be. For example, uh, at the very beginning, there's only one button, so you must have clicked button one. Um, if the current scene is start, when button one is clicked, because button one could exist in any scene. But if the scene is start, that means it was the beginning. So it's going to set the current scene to the next scene, which is that scene in the woods. Um, so what, ha and then it calls update screen. So it looks over here and it says, okay, what is my current scene? Remember I just updated scene to woods? Well, then it should set everything for the woods. So if current scene equals woods, set the picture to woods, say that text that said you awake in a dark forest, all that stuff. Button two becomes visible. It used to be invisible. Now it's showing up on the screen and the button one and button two text presents the, um, the options for what your two choices are. Go left or go right. So now back to the buttons. What happens when you click button one, uh, from the woods? Well, it sets the scene to the cabin. What happens when you click button two? Well, if current scene is, or sorry, if current scene uh, is equal to woods, then it sets current scene to river. That's what you saw, right? When I clicked button one during the woods scene, the next scene was a cabin. When it call when update screen happens, it sees that current scene equals cabin and sets the picture to to a cabin. It sets the text for the cabin text, and it gives you the two options knock and keep walking for the cabin. Uh, the two option, the two options on the buttons, the, te the button text. Um, on the other hand, if you were to click button two, it's still, the current scene is still woods, but a totally different thing happens because this is button two. So for button two, if current scene is woods, then the, then the next scene is river. So it sets global scene, global current scene to river. And in the event that you clicked on river or in the event that you, well in the event that you clicked on go right rather because it was button two so if you clicked on go right that was button two 
It went from woods to river. Current scene will be river. So it'll be a picture of a river. It'll have text for what happens there, and it'll give you two different options on the buttons. So that's how that's how this game is organized. Um, it'll be up to you to build this out, add your own pictures, your own text, your own different choices. Um, you can add more buttons. You don't have to have just two. Uh, you can have buttons hide and show. You can create your own storyline. You can add... Um, a lot of different, um, you know, a, you can have a different flow, like a different um, logical flow. So you could have a lot of different ways it could end there. are, But make sure that you're checking what the list of um, requirements is so that, and that you're actually meeting all the requirements. Remember, this isn't this is not complete. This is actually just a, this is just the beginning. You'll have to have a bunch more, a bunch of additional scenes. You'll have to have a bunch of additional um things that can happen, a couple of different endings. Um, so this is just a starter. Hopefully it's enough to get you going.